Edmund Gettier's 1963 article, Is Justified True Belief Knowledge? This article is probably the most influential article in recent epistemology. Now, scholars of epistemology, the study of knowledge, have long understood that knowledge requires two things. It requires belief and it requires truth. I cannot know something if I do not believe something that is true. But knowledge also requires something else. You need a third thing to connect truth and belief. A third thing to make sure that my beliefs are true for good reasons. That I'm not believing something true just because I got lucky or something, but because my beliefs are really connected to the truth. They're rooted in the truth. Now, what was commonly understood in Gettier's day was that that third thing is justification. That is to say, having the right sort of evidence for one's belief. Now, what Gettier did in his article was he showed that it is possible to have a justified true belief that is not knowledge where the third thing is there, the justification is there, and it's supposed to connect belief to truth, but it doesn't make the connection, and yet the belief is true by sheer luck. Let me give an example. Gettier's article is short. You can read your own, uh, his own examples there. But here's, here's a fun example. This is uh, based on the story of my life. In the year 2011, I'm teaching philosophy in Georgia at Berry College, and I'm looking for a job for the next year because my current position is a visiting assistant professorship. I'm, so I'm looking for an assistant professorship. And I expect to find one, and I expect it will probably be in the United States of America. And so I think that next year I will be teaching philosophy in America. Now, let's say hypothetically, someone says to me, Eh, you might try teaching overseas. How about Pakistan? And I say, well, I'm pretty sure next year I will be teaching philosophy in America or in Pakistan. Now, little did I know that there was an institution of higher education in Pakistan, a liberal arts university, Mormon Christian college, that would be looking for a philosophy professor. And so I became that professor and moved to Pakistan. And so the belief, next year I will be teaching philosophy in the United States or in Pakistan, would have been true and would have been justified because I believed it based on good evidence. Good evidence uh, that I would be teaching philosophy in the United States, which in turn I believed based on the good evidence. Uh, Gettier notes in his article that whenever you have good evidence for a proposition, you have good evidence for the proposition that either that first proposition or some other proposition is true. Um, it's better to give the formula. If I have good evidence for proposition A, I have good evidence that proposition A or proposition B is true. So an easy way of coming up with a Gettier problem is describe any scenario where a person has good evidence for a proposition A and believes proposition A or proposition B happens to be true, but when the evidence has let him down, Proposition A is false, and by sheer good luck, Proposition B is true. And so the belief that Proposition A or Proposition B is true uh, is a justified true belief, but is not knowledge because the, uh, the third thing that was supposed to connect them, the justification, failed to make the connection. Belief happened to be true by sheer luck. Now, there are two problems raised by Gettier. What he shows is that it is possible to have a true belief which is justified but is not knowledge. One problem is that Gettier undermines a well-established definition of knowledge, at least at the time it seemed to be well-established. And so he shows us that defining knowledge can be very difficult. It suggests that we need a new approach. We need a fourth thing, perhaps, as part of the definition of knowledge. Three things is not quite enough. Or we need to rethink that third thing. And some philosophers have tried to rethink it, and they've dropped the term justification and used other terms like warrant and given a differing account of the nature of that third thing. But the bigger problem for philosophers is that Gettier suggests that knowledge is not always within our control. More precisely, justification, which is meant to put knowledge within our control, 
which is meant to make our beliefs reliably true and true because we are basing them on the evidence. That justification fails sometimes without our having false beliefs. Everyone understood that sometimes justification would fail and our beliefs would be false. Um, it's possible to have a justified belief that turns out to be false. Uh, we had good evidence, it was highly probable, but in this case it just wasn't accurate. Uh, these things happen. And that was never a threat to the old understanding and knowledge before Gettier. But what Gettier shows is that sometimes justification fails in just the right ways, and yet the belief is still true. And this was uh, rather unsettling for philosophers who relied on justification to make that connection, and who relied on justification to put knowledge within our control. And so it fails to do so even when our beliefs are true. And naturally, and largely thanks to Gettier, epistemologists after Gettier have put forth quite a lot of effort towards studying the epistemic relevance of luck.